Now, Saudi Arabia has executed prominent Shia cleric Sheikh Nimr al-Nimr despite international calls for his release. Sheikh Nimr's execution was announced by the Saudi Interior Ministry, which also said 46 other convicts were put to death for terrorism. The 56-year-old cleric was shot and arrested in Qatif in 2012 on charges of causing sectarian strife and disobeying the country's ruler. Rice groups say Nimr was arrested for the free expression of his views and criticizing Riyadh. The cleric repeatedly demanded reforms in Saudi Arabia's political system. Amnesty International has called the death sentence against Sheikh Nimr appalling, saying it must be quashed. Widespread protests were also held in several countries, including Iran and Bahrain, calling for his release. Speaking to us now live from California via Skype is Alexander Azad Gun. He's a professor of strategic global management. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Professor Azad Gun. Now, it is a sad day uh, for the Muslim world and also when it comes to human rights that a human rights defender has been executed in Saudi Arabia simply for expressing his views. What do you make of it? Well, I'm going to uh, break academic uh, protocol and state that the Saudi regime is going to burn in hell for doing this, for doing this to a human rights activist. Uh, uh, now, there is no doubt whatsoever uh, about, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia's uh, treatment of, of, of dissidents. If King Salman had any credibility to begin with, which I don't believe he had any, he has just lost it all and he has spent the last ounce of his credibility. Uh, uh, I, I do wonder if there's some Machiavellian deal that was made in the background because uh, just today or in the past day or so we heard about the opening of the U.S. Em uh, the Saudi embassy in Baghdad. I wonder if the, some of the, the extremist elements in Iraq uh, demanded the head of the, the, the sheikh in order to uh, have Saudi Arabia establish diplomatic relations with it. So this is a very, very dark day for human rights activism, for for freedom movements and uh, Sheikh Nimr Al Nim certainly secured a martyrdom for himself for you know in, you know in, in, in Islamic history and uh, you know if 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 the Saudis were uh, concerned about a Shia uprising they have just guaranteed it by by doing this. Well, speaking of which, uh, Professor Azad Khan, right now as we speak, hundreds of armored vehicles are being sent to the Qatif region, which was the stronghold of Sheikh Nimr and we, where he enjoyed the most popular support. Now, uh, the resistance movements there already have called for mass protests on the streets. What are we going to see in the coming hours? Uh, it's hard to forecast that, but uh, the, the strong show of force uh, demonstrate how weak the Saudi government is. Uh, this is not a show of strength, it's a show of weakness, that killing one man would galvanize uh, thousands, if not millions, of, uh, of, 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 of Saudi you know, citizens in the eastern province, or Al-Khatif, as it's known in, in Arabic. Uh, keep in mind, that's also the, the oil-rich area of Saudi Arabia, so uh, as a political economist, I would forecast a possible increase in the price of oil because of potential stability that coming to that region. Uh, we just have to see what Obama administration's uh, reaction to this would be. And I'm not talking about statements. I'm, I'm talking about actual, uh, you know, actions on the ground. Uh, can the Obama statement, in all honesty, Obama administration, in all honesty, claim that it's on, it's on the side of freedom and Arab Spring and freedom and, and, and human rights? I don't think so. Um, they're going to keep the same arrangements that they've been having with the Saudis, and I don't see any change in that. Uh, also, uh, 2015 was one of the darkest years in the history of beheadings in Saudi Arabia. I believe around 157 were beheaded, beheaded in Saudi Arabia. So, you know, when they open their embassy in Baghdad and they talk about want, wanting to bring stability and, 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 and you know, and civility into that region, it, it just it makes me want to, forgive me for saying this, it makes me want to vomit at, at the hypocrisy of the Saudi-controlled regime. All right, let's leave uh, it there for now. On Unfortunately, we've run out of time. That's Alexander Azad Gun, Professor.